what's good homo squad hey as y'all probably see by this picture and such you probably see the picture somewhere or so but as you see shout out to the filipinos worldwide because your guy because sorry i don't know what my phone was going out but your guy easy mill got signed to dr dre and eminem bro i man if y'all don't know that is crazy because look i was on tour i literally just saw this on twitter about like an by the time when y'all see this right it's 7 20 it's july 26 at 2 25 p.m right so probably like an hour an hour and a half ago or so or probably two hours ago i saw a notification on twitter and it's saying that easy mill is signed to dr dre and shady basically signed to shady records bro we gotta talk about this so hey for the it's basically like this for many people who's been reacting to Easy Mill, the likes of me, Screwface John, and Hell, Screwface even collab with the nigga at one point, making Righteous and Ratchet, right? Make sure y'all go check out my other react, and plus make sure y'all go check out my reactions to them and such, to all of the songs that Easy Mill has dropped over the years and I reacted to. But regardless of that, bro, that's just crazy, cause. Look, we've all basically everybody whoever listens to Easy Mail or whoever's reacted to Easy Mail know that this nigga is like the younger version of how Eminem was. Because in a way, he was like how Eminem was when he was coming up and such. He was, he had charisma. He had that, in a way, he has them similar traits of how Eminem was like this. Like, for instance, in one of the songs I reacted to called the Slashy Show, where Easy Mill is one side, but then he got the alter ego, which is the alter ego, which is Slashy, if I'm not mistaken. That literally is like an Eminem, right? That's literally Eminem. Eminem right here, and then Slim Shady. So you can't tell me that don't represent Eminem in any sort of way. And plus, in a way with him he has his own type of style and what i mean by and any style whether it's his music style or even hell the nigga the nigga can dance so and, and bro wouldn't it be so crazy that right now right as of what at the, the time of this recording right that this nigga does like a music if anyhow we get new music from eminem and we see him featuring easy mail on it Bro, y'all cannot tap. I know that finna do numbers like crazy for shit short. Cause he's a, in a way, you can say he's a brand new artist, even though he's been doing this for a life. But let's face it, he was already getting good reputation before with his type, with his fan base. Cause like I say, with the Filipinos and all that, he was getting his fan base. But after seeing now that. That, but the fact that he was even in the radar of Dr. Dre and M, bro, he for the his type of shit is gonna go crazy. And you know, and the, the craziest thing is what made that sign to him. The reason they the reason why they say they signed to him is because all they literally just said was to go watch his music video step up down. I mean, and I literally reacted to that and such right reacted to that and such so make sure you go check that one out so hey all i'm saying is for you i know this probably might be a short thing and all but hey it's basically like this y'all could not tell in a way if any uh, any because sorry if look like i said i do these videos where i'm just talking to y'all off the rip so bro all i can say is there is gonna be some big things for easy meal to for big things for easy meal because he was like i said he was already popping as it is but now that he's on the side of eminem and such dr dre bro he finna have a fun man all i'm gonna say is this 
if they if Shady cuz I know Eminem of course it's Eminem's record it's all it's Eminem's label and all but I'm just saying they better do my boy right they better do easy meal right pause on that cuz trust me you cannot fumble this bag right here cuz a lot of records of all cuz let's face it a lot of labels always get shit on, shit on which is rightfully show rightfully sure cuz nine times out of ten these music late these music leper these record labels and such sorry they tend to fuck up a nigga fuck up some artists careers it's for sure you cannot say you cannot say that ain't true right sorry something in my mouth so but there are some there are certain records that that there are certain labels out there that actually do good and such actually follow actually make sure the artist can actually have a good career and such so all I'm saying for shady records they better not fumble on easy milk because with his type of music style trust me cuz and cuz it's like this he can rap he can sing he can dance and he has this type of own music where nigga it combines cuz and especially like this with the way how we sell like the 50th anniversary of hip hop is coming on August the 11th bro he has a way of mixing the boom bap rap basically mixing some old school with some new school so you cannot tell me that with him I mean for goodness sakes at one in one of his like one reaction in one of my reaction he did he literally and I think it was the beatbox freestyle right he didn't it because when that style was going in right when that era was going around right trend was going around right he didn't just do the old typical thing of trying to get get the beat and re and rap on it right nah this man literally made his own beatbox mate just him so that shows you creativity on a whole nother level because the fact that because not only he did his freestyle on it and such but it's, it's one thing to even do a freestyle on a beat that was already fire and such for the original but it's a whole nother thing to not only do a freestyle but to also do your own version of that beat you don't get a lot of rappers not a lot of artists do that where they literally make their own beat and such and when I mean make your own beat you just make it off scratch too think about it like that too he made it off scratch in the music video so you don't get a lot of rappers who do a lot of artists who would do that so hey all I'm just saying with with shady records with Dr. Dre and M y'all I promise y'all y'all they don't they have to make this dude they better make him be good that's all I'm saying but hey man I just wanted to sh I know this is like a short little video and all and look for most of the times when I'm doing these cu discussion talks come on man cuz I want to make I want to make sure that this reaction I mean this channel is mostly not only just reactions but y'all me and you talking to one another cuz I don't want it just be like oh I just come here for just reactions and such nah the same way how y'all always watch for me and such for all artists out there whether nerdcore or underground artists same way how y'all connect to me I want to connect to y'all but hey man all I'm saying is bro this is good this is such a great way how to celebrate the anniversary of hip-hop coming up with this type of thing crazy but hey y'all let me know what y'all thought about M thought about Eminem and Dre Dr. Dre signing Easy Mill to be record and to their label and such cause to me and to many people out there who like Easy Mill and support him bro this is gonna be crazy but y'all let me know what y'all thought about this down in the comments below it's been your boy Homo Ziggy signing out stay positive and keep the vibes up let go